here's a couple of knives I'm comparing. The bottom one's 3V. The top one right there is Magna Cut. They're both Bark River. You can see on the 3V, as you can tell, it's got some patina on there, but it's real uniform. Now up there to Magna Cut one, it's got that real splotchy looking patina on it. Now let me get a couple of more knives here and compare them to just so you got a couple of more down on the bottom is 3v again and there again it's got patina it's a little more splotchy than my other 3v but there's some patina on there but look at that magna cut on top now that magna cut knife right there had been flitzed i flitzed that thing plumb clean after it took a patina when i first used it and there it's got patina on it and splotches on it and everything now what I want to point out right here and now is that I've only had these knives about a year. Well, it's been a little over a year, but these knives here, the three V knives that I showed you that had the patinas on them, that's the two of my three V knives that would have the worst patina of any of them. Now I've had these knives for years. I've had this knife probably seven years and this one about five years. And I've cut and cut and cut with them knives. This one here, I must have cut, I don't know how many hundreds of oranges I've cut with it. And I just usually just rinse it off and put it back in the sheath. If I do anything else to them, I might put a little dish soap on there to wash grease or anything off. I've cut hams. I've cut all kinds of things with these knives. And I've don't wash them off immediately every time sometimes i'll cut ham or something and i just go eat the whole meal and all that and then wash them up later and they still look that good yes they have that little bit of patina on them but it took years to get that on there and they still look that good now these magna cut knives as you've seen in my other videos they took patinas pretty much immediately when i started using them now, I've not even really used these knives that much. I've done a little bit of skin with them. I've cut up some game and all, cut up a little bit of stuff, but they took the patinas immediately. Now, the reason for Magna Cut Steel, from everything I've found out over the years and even before I got them, was to get crew wear performance, but have a whole lot more corrosion resistance. That's what the maker of Magna Cut Steel even said, the inventor. That was Laren Thomas. Now, he has a scale that he has for knife steels that ranks them, and you can compare them. That's got three categories. Toughness, edge retention, and corrosion resistance. Now, he wanted crew wear performance. That would be eight on the toughness, five on the edge retention, and 5.5 .5 on corrosion resistance. Now I don't have any crew wire, so I don't have one up here. Now 3V is nine on the toughness. It's still 4.5 on the edge retention, which is right up there, about the same. And it's the same as crew wire. It's 5.5 .5 on corrosion resistance. Now that's out of 10. So the Magna Cut was supposed to be seven on the toughness, so it's not as tough five on the edge retention so about the same edge retention just a hair more than 3v but the same edge retention as crew wear so 3v is still close to the same edge retention but the magna cut was supposed to be 9.5 out of 10 for corrosion resistance so that was the whole reason of inventing it was to get that performance so then I imagine my surprise when I get these knives and I cut something with them and they take a patina in like five minutes. I mean, pretty much the first thing I ever, it was the first thing I ever even cut with them, with both of them. They took patinas. So I emailed Bark River and asked them if their Magna Cut was stainless and I never got a response. But I had a lot of comments on it and people saying, what they thought and, and uh, people saying what Mike Stewart of Bark River had said and stuff like that. So the, the understanding I get on it from the information I have, and there again, Bark River didn't tell me this 
personally, but I see a lot of it all around the internet and whatever. Mark River had these knives treated to be at a 62 hardness because they wanted them to be able to be stropped to sharpness. But it took away some of the corrosion resistance. And according to what I hear, their theory on it was, well, who cares as much about the corrosion resistance if you can sharpen the knife and get performance out of it. Okay, that's fair enough. So with mine, these knives are really well made and they have none of the problems that you get with Bark River sometimes on fit and finish as far as grind heights being off, plunge grinds being off, or handles being funky or whatever. They're perfectly made as far as fit and finish and everything on these two. And I've used them and they work really well. They hold the edge about the same as my 3V and they strop up like a dream. So I will say that for them. But what I think about the Bark River Magna Cut is that when you take away the corrosion resistance, they're more corrosive, so to speak, or they're, they're less corrosion resistant than what my 3V has been shown to be in, in my case. And I have a lot of other comments of people that said there's tarnished tuck patinas or even rusted or whatever really quickly in the Bark River Magna Cut. So you take away the corrosion resistance and make it less corrosion resistant than, than their 3V, you basically have a knife with the same edge retention in general, maybe a hair better, less toughness about a couple of notches less toughness than 3V. So why not just get 3V? And Bark River, you're getting the same performance as far as edge retention in general. You're getting a tougher knife and you're getting a knife that's more corrosion resistant than their Magna Cut. So that's my final take on it. I like the knives, they perform well, but they don't perform better than my 3V knives and they take a patina way faster than my 3V knives.